fly with the stars in the skies. I am no longer trying to survive. I believe that life is a prize. But to live doesn't mean you're alive. Don't worry about me and who I fire. I get what I desire. It's my empire. And yes, I call a shot. YouTube. It's your girl, Sexy Bia. <clears throat> Just wanted to come and do a review for you guys um, on this new hair that I'm wearing right now. Um, this is a quick weave that I just did last night. And you guys know I love, I love my big hair. I love my big curly hair. So, um, I was rocking straight for a long time. And I just recently did this, you know, just last night. So, um, the curl that I have in is a boutique jerry curl in a 16 inches. And this is what it looks like. From the pack. This hair is not human; it's synthetic. Um, but it's supposed to be like a um, multi-blend fiber or whatever. Um, so it, it's it's a nice. It feels really nice. It's really soft. Um, this that I have is two packs, like two and a half packs of hair. Um, cause I had to fill in like the top a little bit more cause when I, when I finished all the sides or whatever, the kind of the top was kind of thin, you can see some of the tracks there. So I had to go back and fill in the top a little bit more. Um, I used glue and a weaving cap. Um, so when I do, you know, decide to take it off, I will be able, if the hair still looks good, like I said, this is my first time using this hair. So I don't know how long it's going to hold up. So that's why I didn't want to sew it in. Um, so if it still looks good, then I'll, you know, use it as a wig, basically. So, um, this is the hair. When you first get it, I do have some, I do have some extra hair, but it's all the way downstairs. Um, but when you first get the hair, when you pull it off the track, it looks like very, very, very tight ringlets. So it end up looking, I'm trying to see one that's like not combed out. But I think I went through and I combed a lot of the ringlets out. But they're very, very, very tight little ringlets. Okay. Um, but as soon as, like I took a wide tooth comb and I just hit the edges of like the ends of the hair. And it just, it, it was like whoosh. It was so, it was so much. It was like, oh my God. I'm like, what? Like, I could, I could barely finish putting the top of it in because the bottom of it was so bushy. Um, I like it, but it just, it, it, it scared me for a minute because I wasn't expecting for the hair to do that. Um, I didn't watch, it's not that many reviews of this hair that I saw. I think I should have did a little bit more research, but I like the hair, but I just think I should have did a little bit more research so that I would be prepared for how big the hair um, gets when you comb it out. I mean, it looks way much better combed out than it did you know, when it was like the tight ringlets. It looks a whole hell of a lot better. Now, this kind of reminds me of you know, the wig that everybody was is raving about. The Leger wig. This reminds me, this hair reminds me of that. So, um, if you if you follow my channel, you can go back and um, look at my review of the Leger wig that I do have, and you'll see that it is some similar, but it's a lot longer. Um, it's 16 inches, like I said, and this it's not 16 inches with just the curls. It's six, it's 16 inches when it's pulled out. That's where they catch you at. See, I bought the hair thinking that with 16 inches, and it would be long you know curls no it's long it's 16 inches stretched out so this would be a 16 inches which is which is fine but when you say 16 inches in this curly hair I'm thinking that the curly hair is about to be 16 inches and I didn't think that I was gonna have to stretch the hair out to make it show me 16 inches but I mean the hair is nice it's long um, enough I don't think I think this would look really good longer 
and bushy. Kind of like that. For those of you who like that Diana Ross big, big hair look. So, I think it would look really good like that. Um... Like I said, this is a um, quick weave, so there's no, I didn't do an invisible part. I just went, I just kept going around in a circle, around in a circle, and then made my closure part. Um, here, if I pull it all the way back, you can see my wig cap right here, stocking cap. But it's so much hair, you can't, you can't even tell. Um... It, the hair is really soft. I hope it stays this way. I hope that this hair holds up really, really good. Like the Le Jay wig. Um, like my, my Le Jay wig I've had for a long time and I'm looking at it right now. But um, I'm, I'm really feeling this. And I'm loving the fact that I don't have to, you know, take this out every night or whatever to, you know, keep it up. But I put on, at night, I put a bonnet on. And the bonnet, it's so it's the it's really full and thick and nice. It's it's nice. I love it. Um, it's kind of like that, you know, that Jill Scott look that she always that Jill Scott the big hair look that she always wear. It's this 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 is it. You got that. If you want, if you are looking for that look, if you want something similar to that look, here you go, right here. I think that is, I think it's beautiful on Jill Scott. Now, I think I'm going to cut, like, these are like, like, bangs, as you could say. I think I'm going to trim these. Yeah, I'm going to trim these because they keep falling in my face. Um, and it's a little irritating because I want it to kind of, like, stay back here. <laughs> um, it's like this wild and unruly hair, but it's, I love it. I love it so much. Um... And my boyfriend likes it too. So, that's my review on this hair. I'll do an update and let you guys know how it holds up as far as um, quality. And, you know, it doesn't get like that hard, stiff, synthetic feel to it. Because right now, it feels like human hair. It's amazingly soft. It's, uh, like I can't help but to touch it and just pull more of the ringlets out. Which I really need to stop doing because it's big enough. But the more ringlets you pull out, the bigger the hair gets. So, um, but it's just so soft. And I haven't put anything in this hair. No mousse, no oil sheen, no nothing. I took it straight out the pack and I, I installed it and I combed it out with the big wide tooth comb. And it just went whoosh like this. So, um, this is my review. Um, I'll probably be doing little different things with it, like pinning it up, pinning it back, stuff like that. And like I said, I might trim the bangs. Um, and I'll show you guys the back of it. And that's the back of it. So, and then also, let me tell you guys, future reference, for those of you who are going to get this hair, um, you only need, like, one pack of this. Maybe two, two, one and a half packs, I will say. Um, if you don't like it to be really full like mine is, um, you can only use two, maybe one. Like, it's, the packs are, it's one full pack, but it's separated into two bundles. So, you can use those two bundles and then one bundle from another pack and have it full. But this, I like my hair really thick and really full, so that's, you know the look I was going and like I said I didn't know that it was going to be this big I was looking for more of the Lege look but I wanted I didn't want to buy the Lege again so I think I accomplished that but this is a lot bigger and a lot thicker than the Lege but I love it um please comment don't forget to comment rate and subscribe and please go like my face my um Facebook page it's um www.facebook.com sexybia1 for some reason it said that my username was already taken, so I had to add the one to it. I don't know that people, well, I guess Sexy B is not, like, that hard of a nickname to use, but it's not that common either. But whatever. So, the page is Sexy B 1. Okay? That's my Facebook page. Please go like and follow it. I do a lot of, um... I just started it, but so far I've already done a lot of makeup tips on it. I've posted a few looks. 
I've also posted um, how, like, uh, instruction on how to apply blush. Um, just go and follow it. I'll keep up the tips. I'll keep up the looks. I'll keep up the pictures. I'll keep up everything. Just go like my page and follow and look forward to my blogging. Thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And if you want to see a tutorial on this look, just comment below. And don't, and you can email me too and follow me on Twitter at ShadowQueen underscore 25. Bye.